All right, so I'm going to talk about the method for the experiment done by Fred Griffith in the 1920s. This was the time when they didn't really know what genes were made of. They thought that they were made of proteins because proteins have a much more chemically complex structure than DNA. Um, so Griffith's first step was he was injecting bacteria known to cause pneumonia into mice, and he used, well, there are two forms of this bacteria that he used. There was an S strain, which is known to be pathogenic and lethal, and that happened when he injected into the mouse. The mouse died. Um, and there is an R strain, which is the other form of this bacteria that does not cause infection. And when he injected that into the mouse, the mouse lived. Um, the next step that he did was he heat killed the S strain pathogenic bacteria and when he injected that into the mouse, the mouse lived. So by heat killing it, um, the strain was no longer infectious. And the next thing he did, he had two non-pathogenic strains, the heat killed S strain and the R strain. He mixed those, and when he injected that into the mouse, the mouse died. So he, and the mouse was also infected with the original pathogenic S strain. So he knew that somehow the heat killed S strain had converted the non-lethal R strain into the original pathogenic S strain. And this experiment really laid the groundwork for many experiments to come that showed that DNA is the genetic material.